dear students model 2 dermatoglyphics introduction classification and flexion creases the main objectives of this episode are to know history about dermatoglyphics to analyze the classification of different type of dermatoglyphics to understand the flexion creases to know about the methods used introduction in 1892 sir francis galton a cousin of charles darwin published the scientific study of fingerprints dermatoglyphics is a process of taking the impression of papillary ridges present on the palms soles and surfaces of flexion these ridges form narrow parallel or curved narrows separated by narrow furrow the apertures of sweat ducts opens at regular intervals along the summit of each ridge a fingertip dermatoglyphics is formed in the embryonic phase and is a unique characteristics in humans and non human primates the fingerprint is unique for an individual because the epidermal ridges are genetically determined and their patterns remain constant throughout life dermal ridges initiate to form around the 13th weeks of intrauterine life and development is complete by 21st week and then remains invariable a finger trip is used today as a core technology in biometric security devices and as scientific evidence in courts of law throughout the world currently fingerprint verification technology has become critical in our daily lives as an access key for everything from smartphones computers to bank accounts offices and even health records hence in this episode the following aspects are emphasized they are a history b classification c flexion crease d methods for centuries man has used the fingerprint for fortune telling it was believed that a man with 10 orals was destined to become a chakravarti or an emperor in india in 1684 grew published the first description of the epidermal ridges that make characteristic patterns in finger tips these little ridges of equal size and distance running parallel one with another have the sweat gland spores later in 1686 a comparable description was given by malfiji since then there were no notable advances for about 150 years In 1823, Purkinje conducted the scientific study of papillary ridges of hands and feet. Later, in 1892, Sir Francis Galton 
did extensive research on the importance of skin ridge patterns demonstrating the stability of the fingerprints. He was the first person to study dermal patterns in families and racial groups. Sir Edward Henry in 1893 published a book entitled The Classification and Uses of Fingerprints. This book marks the beginning of the modern era of fingerprint identification. It was further elaborated for identifying criminals. It was realized that uniqueness of fingerprints could indicate as important indexes of human variation. These indexes are applied in genetics, anthropology and medicine. In 1926, the study of epidermal ridges was called as dermatoglyphics by Harold Cummings. In 1929, Harold Cummings and Charles Medlow published the book Fingerprints, Palms and Souls, which is even now considered as the Bible in this field. Penrose in 1945, inspired by this book and conducted research into Down syndrome and other congenital medical disorders based on the dermatoglyphics. In 1976, Scammon and Alter published a book titled Dermatoglyphics in Medical Disorders. In 1982, Selter and his colleagues conducted a study on patients with breast cancer and concluded the presence of more orals on a woman's fingerprint being at high risk for breast cancer. The use of fingerprints is based on many basic principles. The probability of finding two people with identical fingerprints is rare. The likelihood of seeing identical fingerprints was 1 in 64 million. An individual's fingerprints will remain the same until death. There are two types of patterns of the dermatoglyphics. They are fingerprint patterns and palmar. The two types of fingerprint characteristics are global feature which are visible on the naked eye and local features which are the tiny ridges. Ridges are used for identification. Many individuals may have similar global features, but they have distinctive local features like area, core area, type lines, delta, ridge count and ridge patterns. Fingerprints are classified based on the information on the pattern area. The core area is located almost the center of the finger impression and is used as a starting reference point for reading and classifying the print. Type lines are the two innermost ridges that originate parallel divers or tend to surround the pattern area. In all types of ridge pattern, an area occurs where two lines run side by sides and separate where the recurving line passes in front of a structure which is triangular and is called as delta or triradius. Ridge count 
is the number of ridges between the delta and the core. To establish the ridge count, an imaginary line is drawn from the delta to the core, where the ridge that touches this line is counted. The surface of the skin shows various linear markings. Different names, some of them are synonym, have been applied to such lines. There are various systems of grooves, raised area and preferred directions of stretching. Some of these are evident in intact skin. Ridge patterns are divided into three classes, loops about 70 percent, orals 25 percent and arches 5 percent. A loops, the ridges curve around only one extremity of the pattern forming the head of the loop which constitute the most common type of fingerprint pattern. The ridges which flow to the margin of the digit are described as open. According to this, two types of loops are present. The loop that opens towards the little finger is termed as an Allah loop. The loop that opens from thumb is termed as a radial loop all loops have one delta. B orals, the ridges which encircle a core are called orals. The concentric orals are the ridges in a palm generally arranged as a succession of concentric ellipses or rings. The spiral oral is the ridges spiral around the core in an anticlockwise or a clockwise. A smaller oral is located within the central loop and this is called as accidental patterns. As you can see in these three basic patterns A, no line of count in an arch pattern and ridge count score is 0. B, the white line is joining the center of the pattern to the point of radius. There are 13 ridges cutting the line. C, there are 17 ridge count on the left of the pattern while ridge count on the right is 8. All oral patterns consist of type lines and a minimum of two deltas. C arches, the ridges pass from one margin of the digit to the other with a gentle distally bowed sweep. You can see that in any figure of dermatographics. There are two types of arch pattern. A simple arch has the ridges on the fingertip which cross without recurving from one side to the other side. B tented arch has the ridges that meet at the point so that their smooth sweep is interrupted. They lack type lines, deltas or cores. The simplest of all fingerprint pattern is the simple arch with the ridges entering from one side of the print and exiting on the other side where these ridges tend to rise at the center of the pattern thus forming a wave like structure. The tented arch is similar however, instead of rising smoothly at the center they rise as a sharp up spike which meets at an angle less than 90 degree. There are two or more triradi in orals, one in lobes and lacking in arches. 
generally the right hand has more orals pattern and males have more orals and few arches than females typically. A similar pattern is seen in the toe. To compare between individual, the palm has been divided into several anatomical designed areas such as thinner areas 1, 2, 3 and 4 interdigital areas and hypothenar area. Four digital triradi are located in proximal relation to the basis of disease 2, 3, 4 and 5. In the radio ulnar sequence and they are named A, B, C and D. Axial triradius is located at the proximal margin of the palms in the intervals between thenar and hypothenar regions. The configurational area between digital triradi A and B is interdigital 2. The area between the triradi B and C is interdigital 3 and the area between triradi C and D is interdigital 4. When a digital triradi is displaced, the midpoint of the base of the specific digit separates from the interdigital area on either side. The configuration may be an exact pattern as oral or loop a vestige. Of the two patterns in an area, one on the radial side has written first ATD angle. This is formed between lines drawn from the triradi at the basis of the index and little fingers to the axial triradius. The more distal large axial triradius is the angle. The position of the axial triradi which form the angles greater than 56 degree are designated as distal. If more axial triradius is present, the most distal one is used in the analysis. In 1971, Bali and Chobe wrote on the formation of Palmer creases. The main flexion crease, distal transverse, proximal transverse and radial longitudinal are classified by their common point of origin as single radial base crease and double radial base crease or triple radial base crease. Many people have three prominent creases on the surface of their palms and however, sometimes there is only one crease. In a few cases, the distal horizontal crease refused to form a single horizontal crease. This line has designated as a simian crease. The presence of one palmar crease indicates abnormal development. It is generally present in Down syndrome or fetal alcohol syndrome children. However, one has to take into account several other factors before making a diagnosis. They can also look into the dermatographic patterns regarding chromosomal abnormalities. Scanning of the ridge patterns, permanent impressions can be accomplished rapidly and inexpensively.
there are many methods for recording dermatocle fix. They vary in their requirement for equipments, time and experience and the quality of the prints produced. The patterns are recognizable by the naked eye with a simple magnifying lens preferably with a light source to record in infants and small children whose patterns are excellent. The scan alone gives sufficient data, however, permanent impressions are necessary for quantitative analysis of dermatographics. To enhance the quality of the prints, it is essential to remove sweat, oil and dirt from the skin by washing the ridged areas with soap and water and with ethyl alcohol. Care must be taken to print the ridged area completely. The ridges are primarily on the ovular surface, but also passes upward along the lateral margins of the fingers, palm, toes and soles. Reliability of the fingerprint examinations has supported by the theories of biological uniqueness and permanence, probability modeling and empirical data gained through over 100 years of operational experience. The International Association for Identification of Fingerprint established in 1915 and Fingerprint Society established in 1974. There are three types of fingerprints. One, visible prints are also called as patent prints because these are visible to the naked eye without development and are left in some medium like blood, dirt, ink or grease on the finger. Visible prints can be recorded using several standard techniques to include black printer's ink, inkless or chemical method and live scan which is a computer based system that creates digital fingerprint images by scanning the fingers. Two, latent prints are challenging to see by the naked eye which is formed from water, salt, amino acids and oils contained in the sweat. These types of prints must be made visible through the use of forensic technology such as alternate light sources, chemical techniques or fingerprint powders. Three, impressed prints or plastic prints. These prints are impression left on soft playable surfaces such as clay, wax, paint or another surface that will take. Obtaining fingerprints. Two methods are used to capture fingerprints. Chemical methods, different chemicals are used to get fingerprints. Black powder can be sprayed on the surface of the finger and lift using clear tape. Ninhydrine can be used which binds to this amino acid present in fingerprint produce a blue or purple color. Cyanoacrylate can be used to develop fingerprints on a variety of objects. The magnetic powder can be used to reveal fingerprint on a shiny surface or plastic bags or containers automated identification method. The images of the fingerprints can be obtained using different sensors such as capacitive sensors which capture pixel value based on the capacitance of the finger ridges. Optical sensors can be used 
which use prisms to detect the reflection of light by each characteristics. Thermal scanners also measure the difference in temperature over time to create a digital image. Digital imaging techniques is used in acquiring, storing and analyzing the fingerprint data. The images acquired from the individuals are compared with the existing details in the databases for matching and if images match, the person is identified. There is a list of images in the print data. To conclude, fingerprint identification is the oldest forensic discipline known to man and the fingerprints are unchanged throughout life or even after death. Thank you.